After the icon strip, let's check what is a desktop strip. Below the icon strip, you'll see some uh, desktops. So there are some tabs. In, actually, there are 12 tabs in to total and they all are called desktops. Okay, this is just the name. So don't get confused. So it says desktop 1, desktop 2, desktop 3, but then it comes standard, then structure, tables, but these all are desktops. So there are uh, each tab is called a desktop and there are 12 desktops in total. I'm in the debugger screen of the actual SAP system and you see here these are the tabs which are talking about. They say desktop 1, desktop 2, desktop 3. After that is standards, structures, tables, these all are tabs and all are called desktops and there are 12 desktops in total and we'll see in subsequent videos what is desktops, each functionality of each desktop is. At each um, debugger screen, you will see these icons. So you need to understand this is a close icon, this is a new tool, this is a re replace tool, this is for full screen, this will maximize your screen horizontally, this will swap the tools, okay, and this will uh, help you to open the services of the tools. So let's see how it is done in SAP. So these are the tools which you just saw in the PowerPoint. So this is close tool, this is new tool, replace tool, full screen, horizontal maximize, swap, and then services of the tool. So if you hit this close tool, obviously this part of the debugger will get closed. If you hit this part, it will close this part. Say like, let's close the source code. Gone. The code is gone. So, but if you want to bring it back, what you can do is hit on the new tool and hit on new tool and then say, I want the source code back. So, if you double click there, it gives the source code. Now, you want to say that, no, I, I want my source code to be on the left hand side. What you can do is just see the swap. Here, do you see the swap? It will ask whether you want to, to swap it horizontal or vertically. That means whether you want it in the bottom or in the side, I say horizontally. So, it will swap me to the left hand side. Now, similarly, uh, here you see there is maximize so it will create the full screen of this code and what about this this is a replace tool and this is new tool so uh, this is you can play around with these tools so this will help you to play with what you need to see and the same thing for the new tool I have shown uh, in this PowerPoint so you can go through it uh, next is uh, the Debugger desktop can slow show up to four tools. Okay, that means it in the left hand side there is a code. In the second, it's showing the table. In the third, it's showing the web stack, and the fourth, it is showing the variables. So there are say twelve desktop elements uh, tabs, but only four can be seen at one time. So and we can you, you can choose what you want to see in this those four screens. So if if I come back to SAP, I see that there are only three in my case. So how we can do, I can add one more here. If you click a new tool and I say that since source code is already there and this is above screen stack and this is wearable. So let me see uh, another uh, tool which I can say I want to see the breakpoints. All right, see here. So I can just drag a little up. So you can see that in my whole program, there are two debuggers set, the two breakpoints set. One is a session breakpoint, okay, and another one is the external breakpoint. So you know that because if I go scroll up, it will see here, or I'll just say full screen, okay. I'll just say full screen here, and I want to show the breakpoint. So this is at line 93, there is one breakpoint, and in line 104, there were another breakpoint. So that's how you use, use the four tools so let me add another tool here since now it has full screen i've lost it so i'll say variable past it is in here now i'll add another tool say i'll say breakpoints it comes here and i can add one more here say i'll say call stack okay so this see you can have four different views in the same debugger screen